Oh, hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just preparing for Christmas. <laughs> Putting up my Christmas decorations. It's the big tree lighting ceremony here. <laughs> last night, they had an hour long special. No, it was the last night or the night before. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it was sometime this week. NBC had an hour long ceremony for the tree lighting ceremony, uh, hour long show for the tree lighting ceremony in New York. Here on CBS. <laughs> Beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. People sometimes say to me, they say, Craig, get out of my garden. <laughs> and I leave quietly. But sometimes people say to me, they say, Craig, who actually owns CBS? Who owns it? Well, now you know. <laughs> It's owned by a gentleman called Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> For the next month, I'll be wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> I'm looking for, I'm gonna try and get the day off on Christmas Day this year. People are like, are you crazy? I'm like, no, I'm gonna try it, because this year I think Mr. Scrooge is gonna see the error of his ways. <laughs> I even got us a Christmas tree. <laughs> there it is. Look at it. Take that. Anything. <laughs> like, honestly, you could have an old poster of Weird Al Yankovic up in your house and it would be better than this show. <laughs> Why are you on that? Do you owe the news when they tell you the truth? I actually kind of like it. It's cute. It reminds me that small is also nice. Because I forget that, being cursed with bigness. Craig, are you making a veiled reference to your abnormally large penis? <laughs> Why, yes, I am. <laughs> and let me tell you about it later. We'll be right back. Sit down, please. Stop any kind of noise or enthusiasm. It'll just put me off. <laughs> any of your optimistic, upbeat noises will just make me feel... <laughs> Plus, this is a rented suit. <laughs> oh! It's a great day for America. <laughs> Yes, it is. 
Great day for America. Not such a great day for uh, Jared from Sunbury. You remember Jared who was like, oh, and then he got thin by eating sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of defies the laws of physics, if you ask me. And like, how did you lose all that weight? I ate enormous sandwiches. <laughs> well, get me on that diet. <laughs> anyway, everybody's talking now because he's gained all the weight back. Oh. I know. Strangely enough, by eating sandwiches. <laughs> so you lost weight by eating sandwiches and you put it all back by eating sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> anyway, Subway are standing by, Jared. They're going to change their name to Chubway. <laughs> do we... No, it really happened. It really did. Do, uh, do we have a, you know, got a, a recent picture of Jared? Look, there he is. Oh, come on. <laughs> the sandwiches he ate the sandwiches oh that's right blame me i'm the one that's been starving myself on a salad a day but oh no i get on oh, anyway you know what it's a good week this week because uh chelsea clinton announced she got engaged congratulations chelsea and yeah <laughs> By the way, last night on the show, there was a, a proposal done right here on the show, and this guy proposed to his uh, fiance uh, right here on the show, and, and everybody was like, oh, and they were on the internet today going, oh, no, it's staged, it's staged, because she didn't react. And I'm like, of course she didn't react, she was Canadian. Because, <laughs> like, he proposed to her, and she was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's Canadian for, whoa! <laughs> Anyway, Chelsea Clinton got engaged. Yeah, Bill Clinton's very happy about it because he's not losing a daughter, he's gaining a bachelor party. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> also, it's day three of the LA Auto Show and some great cars have been unveiled. Have you seen the new Cadillac Escalade? It's awesome. The features, uh, the, it's got these uh, side windows that cannot be shattered by a golf club. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I first heard about that, and he went, oh, yeah, he was going for a drive at, like, 2.45 in the morning. I'm like, sure he was. Because <laughs> that's what you do at 2. <laughs> Just going for a drive. Nothing to see here. <laughs> do you know that because of the carry-on policy against uh, uh, liquids on the airplanes, the TSA said that this holiday season they'll uh, confiscate or confiscate. <laughs> Okay, is that a swear word in your country? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's confiscate. <laughs> They're confiscating any snow globe that, uh, that's larger than three ounces. So if you have globes larger than three ounces... <laughs> let me just say... <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> You too, ladies. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, the, because it's Friday, there's a couple of uh, new movies up today I'm very excited about. No, I'm not really. I'm just going to see New Moon over and over again <laughs> till my pants fall off. <laughs> Which usually happens as soon as the werewolves come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love them werewolves in that movie. <laughs> they're not wolfy and they're not wary. <laughs> but there's something about them that brings out the hairy beast in me. And... <laughs> He's hungry for meat. Anyway, there's a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a big new movie opening today. Anyway, it's, it's called Everybody's Fine. It stars Robert De Niro and Drew Barrymore. I like Drew Barrymore. I think she's lovely. Do you remember when uh, Drew jumped on David Letterman's desk and showed, showed his, her, the boobies? <laughs> that happened here as well, except it was Drew Carey. <laughs> but, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, awesome boobies. <laughs> Shame about the desk. Anyway, I really, uh, I really like uh, Robert De Niro movies, especially the movies he made with Martin Scorsese. Because for years, uh, Robert De Niro was Martin Scorsese's muse. Wish I was someone's muse. <laughs> Wish I was a muse instead of CBS's bitch. <laughs> Wish I was a muse instead of a bitch. <laughs> Shut up and sell those products. You bet, you bet, mister. <laughs> 
Anyway, I like Robert De Niro is what I'm saying. And he hasn't had plastic surgery. He's an older guy that looks like an older guy. Have you just seen Al Pacino? Al Pacino, come on. He looks like an old handbag. <laughs> this handbag's by Jimmy Chuha. <laughs> Who the hell am I? I like the way De Niro does that squinting in his movies. You know, that kind of... If he came on this show, the lighting is so bad here, he could actually open his eyes up. He could actually, he'd be like, oh, this is lovely. He'd be like, are uh, you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Because I can't tell because the lighting is so bad. I think that uh, De Niro should reunite with Joe Pesci. I loved them when they were a great evil team, De Niro and Joe Pesci. They're like the evil Abbott and Costello. You know, it's like, who's on first? My freaking gun in your mouth is on first. That who's on first. See? I like it when De Niro does serious movies with no laughs, like The Godfather and Raging Bull and uh, Analyze That. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, yeah. I'm here. That's right. I'm the Jared guy. Oh, sorry, everybody. I'll eat some sandwiches so you don't awe me. <laughs> no, all right. Analyze This was good. It was a good movie, Analyze This. And then Analyze That. I think he got greedy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think he got greedy. You know, a little bit, little bit greedy. A little bit. And he's doing a sequel to Meet the Fockers. It's called, uh... <laughs> That's what it's called. It's called Little Fockers. <laughs> That's what it's called, Little Fockers. I think I get it. I think it is, I'm, no, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm in the dark here. I'm throwing it out here. This is an idea. It's an idea I had. You're gonna go, no, you're crazy, Craig. But I think it might just be a pun on a profanity for sexual intercourse. I'm just saying. <laughs> So a round of applause, man. <laughs> for getting angry about Meet the Fockers. <laughs> I think I know where I stand with tonight's audience. <laughs> they hate me because they're all friends of Jared. <laughs> and I get the blame. That's right, blame me. We'll be right back. everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my Christmas cavalcade. Do you know what? I'm going to put this Christmas tree next to my penis. <laughs> then people will go, wow, look at the size of his penis next to that tree. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's, the way, that's the way to meet women. Hang around in a forest of small trees. <laughs> Hang around in a forest of small trees with no pants on going, Hi, ladies! <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> do we have time for emails tonight? You bet we do! Nobody there? Um, let's see, what is this? This is from Tracy in Chicago. Uh, Tracy says, how does your lighting guy feel about you saying his work is crap? <laughs> Even if you don't care, I do. Well, it's not that I don't care, I just can't see him. I, can't, I don't know where he is. <laughs> it's just that dark in here. <laughs> anyway, look, this is masterpiece provided by the CBS lighting department. <laughs> as <laughs> well. Look, they didn't even drill a hole. Look, it's just gonna... <laughs> anyway, got my hand sanitizer. That's the main thing. Other late night talk shows, a band, a camera that goes across the audience and everything. We've got this and this. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. I like, who did that? Oliver Hardy, didn't he? He used to go like that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> come Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel, you know, Laurel and Hardy, they used to be, they used to sleep in the same bed, remember? <laughs> and the Three Stooges used to sleep in the same bed too. <laughs> Those were the days. 
Um, this is from Elisa in Niles, Ohio. She says, uh, Dear Craig, I'm about to graduate college and discovered that I wasted four years on a major that I hate, accounting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you need anyone to make your coffee, cook your dinner, or do your laundry? <laughs> yes. But I'm not prepared to pay an accountant to do that. <laughs> uh, this is from Danielle in Mission Viejo in California. If you don't uh, speak Spanish, Mission Viejo is uh, Spanish for Mission Viejo. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Craig, uh, I'm, in the I'm in seventh grade and my... Well, what the hell are you doing watching this show then? <laughs> This isn't, what were you, seventh grade? That's what, like 13 years old, something like that? Go to bed! <laughs> I'm in seventh grade and my choir class is going to sing at California Adventures on February the 24th, 2010. Will you come and watch us perform? No! <laughs> Wait, they, oh, oh yeah, that's going to look just great. I'll turn up my own with my little Christmas tree to watch a bunch of seventh graders sing and I'll be like, oh, hi! I was invited! <laughs> February 24th, all right, I'll be there. Um, <laughs> this is from Callie in Philadelphia, uh, who says, Dear Craig, have you ever had to do the walk of shame? <laughs> Every damn night after the monologue, usually. Eh? <laughs> I know what you're talking about when you spend the night at somebody's house for a grown-up sleepover. <laughs> then you have to walk home in the morning. Never had to do that. <laughs> I've done it once or twice. Some of these guys call you back, though. And... <laughs> Look, I know you think I'm a jerk, so do I. <laughs> All right, this is from Barry in Des Moines, Iowa. I've been there, actually. Oh! I can't remember. Oh, I bought a sweatshirt when I was there at the airport. Good times. <laughs> Barry says, Dear Craig, I put my hand inside my wife's Christmas stocking. Oh, this is going to be racy. <laughs> I put my hand inside my wife's Christmas stocking and found an unwrapped chocolate Santa from last year. Should I eat it? <laughs> unwrapped? Was she wearing it? You're talking about the one you hang by the fire, right? So you put your hand in, there's a chocolate Santa. I think if it's wrapped, you can eat it. It seems fair. What seems odd, though, is that you would email a late-night talk show <laughs> before doing it. It's going well tonight, I think, the emails, do you? <laughs> the emails are going well tonight. You know, I like the fact that, you know, when things aren't going well in this show, which is often, <laughs> rather than run away from it, we stay in it. <laughs> It's kind of like yoga for your eyes. <laughs> stay in the discomfort, stay in the pain, stay in the unpleasantness, because when you push past that, there will be enlightenment, you see? <laughs> yeah, well, I tried. All right, this is from, uh, this is from Callie in Finland. Uh, she says, hi, Craig, since next Sunday is Finnish Independence Day, I was wondering what kind of massive festivities and hilarious antics you've got planned for it. Well, we got the tree. <laughs> Next Sunday, finish Independence Day. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. First guest tonight is a movie star. Uh, she's in a movie, which is that's what they do. I mean, sometimes they do community service, but not often. Usually, they're in movies. Her latest movie is uh, the Young Victoria, which is in theaters on December the 18th. Take a look at this. 
Less than three years on the throne. And <laughs> that is just like my house. <laughs> Please welcome the very beautiful Emily Blunt, everybody. lump in my dress backstage. What, well, if you were wearing a microphone? Or? If I was wearing a pack. Right, so you, 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 you... Just shoved it on. You look like you got a pack going on in there right now. <laughs> Everything all right? Everything's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I commented on your breasts. Oh it my doesn't God. Die. I don't know and what it's happened. it's too soon. It's I know. too soon. I haven't seen you for too long, so I, know, I just, I, I suddenly went breasts it's instead right. of hello. <laughs> uh, which is, sometimes guys do that. They go, oh, breasts, hello, hello. I, I know, that no, it happens a lot. It's yeah, I know. gross. Are you all right? I'm good. Yeah, congratulations on getting engaged. Thank you That's very lovely much. to do, to draw on, yeah. To John. To John. He's a very nice man, if only he wasn't so short. He's very tall, isn't he? Yeah. Do you know that I, I was coming back from Scotland? It was almost a year ago, and I sat next to him on a plane, and he was we, he was talking about he was going to ask you to marry him. I know, but you were the one who said, you know, lock yeah. it down. Well, I what happened was I didn't I didn't know that you and, and him or you and he were dating, right? Yeah. Well, um, we've been very. I mean, no one knew. Right. Knew. Well. It, not even me, and I'm you like, knew. I'm like, waha, sister girl, right? <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm like talking to him, and he said, I really like this girl, and I said, yeah. well, I'll marry her then. And, he's, and I said, who is it? Do I know her? And he said, it's Emily Blunt. I said, are you out of your hula la? <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it. Oh, no, move. Yeah. Um, and you guys talked for like 10 hours straight. Yeah, well, we were on, it was a long flight. Back and I think he got on it and he thought, oh no, like he's definitely not going to want to. No, he thought, chat. oh no, there's that Scottish there's Conan guy. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. he's going to talk to me. Oh, do you like little peanuts on the airplane? So do I. And all that. <laughs> but we actually yeah. sat next to each other for the whole flight and yeah. we had this lovely, ranging conversation. And he knew about your. You're getting yeah, married. Yeah, I got married three weeks after yeah, that. Yeah, he the way did back. tell People Magazine, which I thought he was He did weird. tell People Magazine, which I, I thought was... I don't know why he did it. I said, babe, there's a new friend for you, so you ruined well, it. Yeah, well, he's a bastard. Yes. He has that... <laughs> he has that side to him. This, fi this film uh, about Queen Victoria yeah. looks like it's about Queen Victoria. <laughs> Queen You're Victoria. better looking than Queen Victoria, That's I think. That's nice. It's true. She was a horrible frump. She, uh... <laughs> She did turn to the food. She later got, on. she got, it was she got hungry. Eating. Yeah, it was misery. Eating. She went Jared. She, <laughs> she did. Oh man. I know, that's bad. State of that picture, eh? No, no, that's, that's all right. That's, that's just a naughty picture we made up. <laughs> He's yeah, all right. Yeah, she, she did turn to misery eating later on, but it's because she was so desperately sad after he died, so. Oh, after Albert died? Yeah. 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 Their kids managed to wreck Europe, though, later on, Slowly didn't they? Was sure. Yeah. Slowly that was, sure. That's the lovely legacy that they left behind, <laughs> this yeah. family that trashed a once great <laughs> part of the world with their stupid, petty arguments. Yeah. So go see the movie. Yeah, it's so... Great. Uh, it's great. You might want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> are, you a, are you a monarchist? Are you a fan of the monarchs? Um, it's nice because they're sort of emblematic of our country, but I know that everyone sort of Your pokes fun country. at them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm an American now. Look, I got my tattoo. Check it and out. Everything, yeah. Did you? <laughs> I got my tattoo. What is that? You get a tattoo when you become an American. <laughs> yeah, you get a tattoo. You get a tattoo and your own Harley Davidson. Did you? <laughs> Did you have to sing the anthem? Yeah, yeah, I Did sing you? it all the time. I, I, sing it, I sing it in the shower, I sing it right. marching up and down. <laughs> mowing the lawn. You I'm mowing it. the lawn, I which I do often. Naked, which is weird. I like, I, do you have a lawn? <laughs> do you? We, no, we don't, no. Are you living with him and you're not even married yet? <laughs> you disappoint me, Emily. <laughs> Do you have a lawn in your house? Uh, Not in your house, but near your house? We have part of a lawn. We have a strip of lawn. What, what? For the dog to pee on, you know. Ah. <laughs> Wish I could teach Th my dog to do Because if he goes in the bushes, no, he'll come out and there'll be poo on his feet and you won't even know how we, how we got there. The lawn, you can see the poo. I know how he got there. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out of his bottom, don't it's you know like, that? Yeah. What kind of a dog do you have? We have a, 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 an enormous Labrador mix. We thought he was a Labrador. I think he's a mix because he's huge. Well, Labradors get... They actually turn to eating as well, Labradors. I know, you know he, they, uh, 
Finn, Finn could go that way. Yeah, Finn, that's Finn, his name. Yeah. Is he an Irish Labrador? He is, yes. Is he really? <laughs> what did, you, did you get him at a rescue? <laughs> no, we didn't. Ah. We didn't. Right. Don't frown upon me. Do you have rescue? Do you no, have rescue? No, no, I, 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 I do. You probably know. have pit bulls. Or no, something. no, yeah, that's right. I'm an American. <laughs> I fight my pit bulls. <laughs> My Harley Davidson's wearing my got, little tank top. Yeah, is that? <laughs> Come on, doggies, fan it up! <laughs> I don't know. With the tattoos, it could. No, be. no, tattoos don't. The tattoos are what bourgeois does it say? now. This, this, uh, this is um. Hold on, I'll show you. It says join or die. No way. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's a real tattoo. That's a real tattoo. I got three of them. Do you really? Yeah, not all the same. <laughs> 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 no, I, I'm, I'm actually turning to tattoos in my dotage. Really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. But what, what was it that made you want them? Was it that, I mean, have you always wanted one? Because I was thinking I should, I should get one, but what would I get? I don't want to get a flower for no reason. Well, it depends where you're going to get it, where you're going to get it. You're going to get the tramps, the little tramp stamp thing at the back? <laughs> is that on the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit cheesy. Yeah, it is a bit. Well, where else are you going to go with it? On the it? foot or something. On the foot? Yeah. Well, what about uh, a shoe? <laughs> Work. Or just just laces. Yeah. Up there, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Or flip flops. Yeah, that would be yeah. nice. Yeah, and the beach people would go, look, those look. flip flops are such a great fit. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what people do They're at the so beach. so snug. Is that Emily Blunt? Wow, look at her flip flops. Look at those <laughs> snug fitting flip flops. That, those must be some of them celebrity flip flops. <laughs> have you have you decided when you're going to get married? Is it? We really don't know. I All mean, right. it's one of these. It's, will it be useless. big or secret or, you know? It's going to be pretty secret. You think so? Yeah. Maybe a runaway, like married underwater by scuba diving priests <laughs> or something. You know what? That's good. That, we'll do, it. do you scuba dive? I don't. I'm really frightened of the sea for some reason. I mean, I have like a real problem with the water. Really? I think I'm a victim of Spielberg. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> with a, yeah. And yeah. it's even fish, like fish bumping against me. I, have a, I don't know why I think they would bump against me. No, I they would. The <laughs> I, I scuba dive uh, often. Do they bump against you? Yeah. And uh, off times they go up and go, have you seen Emily? <laughs> I wouldn't mind bumping against her. <laughs> and they all have why slightly are they so all... Why pervy? Well, they're pervy and they have kind of cockney accents, no. which is weird. Really, yeah. so weird. Well, hey, welcome to Hawaii, they say, and then you swim away. You should try it, it's awesome. I know, I should try and just bite the bullet and do it. I mean, I think, I gather that when you're underwater and you can see everything, it's, I think it's the unknown, when you're sort of like paddling on top. That's well, that, that only lasts for a short period of time yeah. until you get out, and then you get under, it's fantastic. I know, I should, I should try it. Well, I, what, I really what, what else do you do then if you don't go scuba diving? <laughs> do you not have any hobbies? Um, I've actually recently bought a ukulele. I love you very much for answering like that. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you play? Well, nothing at the moment. I mean, I can play... That's baby steps. I think that's I wise. can play sitting on the dock of the bay. Sitting on, on the, the dock, dock of the bay. That's but I'd like to learn that uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the one that the Hawaiian guy sang, you know, the big dude. Do you remember that version? Louis Armstrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good not. Who? Don Ho? Is it? Uh, well, uh, Something uh, has a weird uh, name. Uh, uh, who was it? Don Ho? No. Yeah. Is. That's it. Is. You, is. you know, it's a beautiful version of the song. I'd love to learn that. What? The, well. And I also know that one. Um, da, 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 That's a Beatles yes. song, Emily. Yeah. Everybody knows <laughs> that song. <laughs> when I'm 65, 64, 65. Yeah, uh, when I'm, I don't know, it was when a long I'm time ago for Paul McCartney yeah. now, anyway. <laughs> Maybe now when he sings when I'm 64, he'll have to sing when I was 64. <laughs> Poor old Paul. I know. Well, we're out of time. Really? Is yeah. that it? Yeah, that, I have to go. See, see how this fell over here? He keeps showing me that thing with an X on it. He's like, wrap it up. Yeah, that, that means we're out of time. And he's been showing me it for five minutes, and I'm like, I see it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't care to... Uh, Talk to me anymore. No, that's not true. <laughs> you made that up and said it was true, like many women I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not true. I don't mean that. <laughs> uh, a little bit. So, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm concerned that you don't have a date for the wedding, though. I know, I know. Can, we, you... do, can we do it at your house? Yes. Okay. And the uh, w last night on the show, we had a Canadian propose to another Canadian here, which means... You did? Yes, Canadian mating season has begun. Wow. 
We're not Canadian, so we're in trouble. You're not, you're not Canadian, that's yeah. true. He's an American and you're English. That's true. Could be a sitcom in that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it. We'll try yeah, it out. Right. Well, that's it. We have to end on a, a big, right. big laugh then. Okay. No, 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 no. Else. Awkward silence. Okay, no, awkward silence is the best way. Yeah, I, th I like that. This went really well. That's it? Okay. Is that it? I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> Emily Blunt, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> My next guest is a TV critic. What? <laughs> He's the author of Dangerously Funny, which is a book. It's over here. <laughs> it's the, uh, the story of the uncensored story of the uncensored story of the Smothers Brothers, who used to do their show in this very, here, in this studio? In this building, they had a better studio. <laughs> anyway, uh, he wrote this book. His name is David Biancoli, everybody. David Biancoli. <laughs> I should not be here. I why love, are you? Why not? I, I, I love the show, but I'm a television critic. I should be watching. I should not be. And I can't even look at the audience because it's like a person with a fear of heights looking over a building, but high. Don't be frightened of that. <laughs> You're all right. Everything's fine. Don't look out there, though. Yeah. We're dangerously high yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're welcome here. It's all right. Uh, th this is this book's about uh, it's about the Smothers Brothers. They were one of America's great comedy teams. They were subversive in their time, weren't they? Tell me about them. Yeah. No, they were. Yes. No, they were great. In the '60s, they were they were as controversial and as topical as television was allowed to get. Which was not that, or quite well, a lot? Well, other than them, it was basically flying nuns and genies and witches. And oh, Andy that's... Rooney was just starting out. I, no, Andy Rooney was well into his 50th year in broadcasting <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> at that point. Now, the, uh, this, they're still working. The Smothers Brothers have been here. They're still very funny. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, they are very funny. Why did you get fascinated with them? You grew up watching it? Uh, I was 13 when they started, and I watched the show. And at that time, you know, they were bringing on people like Jefferson Airplane and The Who and The Beatles, and I just wow. soaked it all up like a sponge. And they were topical, and they were political. And They and eventually got, they got fired, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they got absolutely fired. How did they manage that? Because I'd like to get out of this dump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was sort of like an Al Capone thing where they got him on a technicality that turned out not to be true, so they sued and won, but it was for not delivering a show on time. But mostly it was for making fun of a couple presidents and saying we shouldn't be in this war. Oh, it was Vietnam and, at the time? Yes. Yeah, you don't want to be on TV making fun of the president or saying we're in wars that we shouldn't be in. <laughs> but you, you know, get you in a whole -la. trouble if you did that. But you know where there's a parallel with you? with the Smothers Brothers, is they started off uh, mid-season out of nowhere. Nobody had any expectations for them whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't coming off. The... Tell oh, me more, yeah. Dan. <laughs> uh, well, some of us had good expectations for you from the beginning, but I'm saying uh, they were in a time slot that had never been won by its network. It mm. was, you know... How long were they on the air? Three years. Oh. And so I put up four fingers. Yeah, yeah, Nervous? Right. No, no. Now, you, you used, when, when I started here, you were at the New York Daily News, weren't you? Yes. Uh, doing the t uh, you're not there anymore, though, No, right? I'm not. What do you do now? Uh, I'm now uh, teaching at Rowan University. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm teaching at Rowan <laughs> University. No, this is, that's not my impression. Uh, never mind. My students, right. very excited that I'm here, wanted me to say hello uh, to Wavy. I, I mean, just to pass on... The little, wavy, wavy, the wavy crocodile. Wavy the crocodile apparently is. What a do, everybody! Yeah. Apparently, a huge college kid. Well, a lot, a lot of the kids enjoy Wavy because he's because uh, he he can't live by the rules. <laughs> he's a trained killer. 
<laughs> did, did the uh, did the Smothers Brothers have puppets? Um, no. Good. They did not have puppets. And that's probably where they made their biggest mistake. <laughs> Now, how, come, why, how did you become a television critic? Did you be fascinated in television? Or the, did you, could you not get a proper job? What I, I, they, uh... I always loved TV, and I actually conned my way into the job. My very first review was uh, the premiere of Saturday Night Live. Did and you I, give it a good review? Yes, I did. Oh, that's good. It stayed on the air. But, oh, right. yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why they're there 35 who years did later. You give, who did you give bad reviews to recently? <sighs> Me, maybe? No. No, you gave me a good review, actually. Yes. I, I, you were the one. That's well, why you're here. Well, the, you, <laughs> and, and uh, so, no, but see, I have this, this, this website that's just good TV now. You, so only, you only talk about TV that yeah, you like? Yeah, so I, only talk, I have to watch the bad stuff. Well, but, well, what's the bad stuff? What do you think is bad? Um, you want me to name a name? <laughs> Jay Leno. J Jay? Yeah. You think Jay is bad? Yes. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> I, I, I thought he was really good as a guest host for The Tonight Show, uh -huh. and then not as good when he took over, and now NBC stops broadcasting. You know Jay Leno's a friend of mine. I understand, and I understand the position here. You asked me. <laughs> but look. Any, anybody else you want to trash? How about my wife? <laughs> want to go after my wife? How about my uh, pets? Don't like my pets? I, I, gave a bad, I gave a bad review to Marie Osmond. You once. gave a bad review to Marie Osmond, well, who is a lovely I, woman. I, a lovely woman, and she's recovered from her fall, I know. What, what did you give her a bad review for? Oh, the Donnie and Marie show. I was on that show. <laughs> no, you were not. I was. I was a guest on that show, yeah. You couldn't have been. No, no, not that one. The crap talk show one that came later. Oh, no, Remember no, that I'm one? I'm talking yeah. about. I'm talking about in the midst of the '70s disco, oh, different that thing. shoes. Oh, yeah, no, I, I wasn't on that. Yes. I was no, too young honestly, and very drunk. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I, I was old enough and not drunk enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. no. What about uh, now? Which, which, what's your favorite and least favorite shows right now? I, I love uh, a lot of stuff like Dexter and Mad Men and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Right. In yeah. terms of cable stuff. Right. In terms. So what about broadcast television? Broadcast TV. Let's go through CBS. I like uh, Amazing Race. I like Mentalist. Yes. I like your show very much. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 So. Um, New Adventures of Old Christine. New Adventures of Old Christine is a funny show. Uh, I think that's a that's funny show. That's a funny show, show yes. NBC, I like 30 Rock, and that's... That's a funny show, too. Now, all right, let's get to the stuff you don't like. Okay. Uh, d just about everything I haven't mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> David, congratulations on the book. I, I am a huge fan of these, uh, these two gentlemen, and, uh, I, and I know you've been working this, on this for a long time. Uh, congratulations on getting it done. David B. and Thanks Julie, everybody. Thanks for having me. Right, right, right. I want you to focus on the tree. Come in. Closer. 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 Now, this is for the people who have stayed with the show all the way to the end because they're too stoned to move. Are you ready? Here you are, people that are too stoned to move. Hi, my Yankee Doodle.